With your first news at 6 Sports, here's Ben Dacu. Non-conference play didn't go so well for Century, with the Patriots going 0-3. Two losses against Minot and one against St. Mary's. But this team isn't letting a rough start get them down. We spoke with the Pats earlier today as they prepared for their game against Jamestown. We're just going to come out here and work our hardest. We, we worked on some things yesterday at practice. Hopefully we can get them done today and uh, just kind of see, see how it goes. We've got a lot to work on, you know, that's what those non-conference games were last week. I thought the first doubleheader, we swung the bat pretty well. We were playing in 40 mile an hour winds and everything. I thought we fielded the ball pretty well. I think just come with a fresh mindset again, what happened last week and that's the past, right? We're in the present. So we'll just look forward to these games, conference games. Games mean a lot. So we're looking forward to these and just bounce back. When working with a younger roster, there's always a bit of a learning curve. If the Patriots do indeed bounce back against Jamestown, Jamestown, that sets them up pretty nicely for a road trip to Williston. After losing four in a row on the road to Dakota State, Dickinson State rebounded in their game against Mayville State. The Blue Hawks took the lead late after a four-run eighth inning to get a 10-7 win at home. Their next contest will be on Friday against Waldorf. Moving to high school now, lots of softball going on tonight. Williston will take on Century while the Wolves play the Midgets. And up the road in Minot, the Sabres will take on the Majets while Beulah tangles with the Aggies in Velva. Over to high school baseball now, the Blue Jays swoop into town to play the Patriots while the Coyotes play the Demons. Also happening this evening, it's Cats versus Dogs as the Sabres host the Watford City Wolves. Up north in Minot, the Midgets are playing the Magicians. And over in Target Field, the Twins host the first place Los Angeles Dodgers. Louis Varland is on the bump for Minnesota as the Dodgers start Tyler Glass now. First pitch is scheduled for 640 in the Twin Cities this evening. KFYR's JT Farabo has been cooking up something good for us. Here's a preview for this week's Sports Spotlight on national champion curler Ella Fleming. Yeah, so this year we had a new team. We This is our only season that we've curled together. We've all known each other. Uh, Tessa Thurlow, she's from Fargo. She and I had curled together back in 2022 and multiple years before that. And we kind of were just ranked underdogs because they hadn't seen us really play. We did a lot of tournaments up in Canada and weren't really seen by all the competitors that were there. And yeah, we kind of I just kind of knew that this was my year that I wanted to do it this year because Tessa ages out after this, so I wanted to win it with her again and obviously the other girls as well. The Sports Spotlight will officially shine on Ella tomorrow at 6. That is a fascinating sport, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after this.